Hello, this is Uncle Joe, Joe Pringle. I uh, wanted to make this quick video to show you how to search for information that's available publicly to do research on properties. Uh, with technology, over the last few years, it's really come a long way. You can really get to get access to some, some great information publicly without going to uh, the MLS or <clears throat> excuse me, the title companies, things like that. What I've found is most counties around me at least have a parcel map viewer. So you go to Google, the typical GTS, Google that shit, <laughs> um, and just do a search for the county you're in. for whatever county, parcel mapping system, something like that. Some, sometimes they're tagged with GIS, as you see here, which my county is Chesco Views here in Pennsylvania. It's a little slow here. But anyway, we get to this site, blah, 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 proceed to the site. I already have it up, so I'm just going to kick over to here. This is the, the home for Chesco Views. What you can do here, once you have an address, like for example, I use this for the share of sale list. Um, so let's start there actually. Do the same type of search for share of sales. Some counties do them weekly, some do them monthly through most of the year, but I did the same type of search for share of sales and navigated my way here. So let's go to next month. Or bring up all the properties that are currently for sale and this is updated here at least this is updated nightly for properties that are added delayed to the next month or whatever but you see all the addresses here um, you can sort these by clicking on the top whatever but for an example let's take this 10 Ferry Lane Phoenixville is the property address take it over to the county mapping system find by address you can usually most of these you can do different types of searches so look around here I don't have a lot of time so I'm just going to go through here just to show you exactly what comes up on this property very and sometimes if there's a directional all that you gotta put it on there and search and boom it brings up the that actual parcel you can go in and out and you can navigate anywhere in the, in the county go to the information a little eye icon and then click on that parcel here at least this is how this one works and boom you have information who owns it the mailing address is the same sometimes you'll have uh, there'll be a landlord property you have a different mailing address, so pay attention to that if you want to mail prospects for people to sell their houses, which is obviously why uh, we're making this video. You can see the property assessment, the total assessment, last sale date, last sale price. Um, and click on here. You can see it in a little better view. The, this same information is available down here along the bottom if you wanted to search there I find it easier to view here another website that you can search for is your county uh, property records usually it's a prothonotary recorder of deeds etc and in our county they use the UPI to track all those things so I found this site again through public access which any of you can get to paste the UPI in here in the document search and that should bring up documents that are associated to this property boom you see the mortgages deeds assignment of mortgages satisfactions there's a lot of activity on this one satisfaction satisfaction they've done a few different things over the years so what it, to save like on uh, initial title work even short pulling short title 
if this is a quick way you can have yourself or an assistant uh, pull up records, you click on one of the mortgages and in our county, again, this is the document and then this is a related satisfaction to it. So you know, that if you look at the details of the pages and I'll just open this up real quick just to show you that these are the actual documents that are recorded in the courthouse. So you can see the date here, the security instrument, who the borrower was, who the lender is, all kinds of great information, the amount, the proper legal property description. You can see this one is for $227,000. I'm not going to go through the whole document, but let's hit back and this satisfaction is associated. So that mortgage is no longer an issue. Click on the document to make sure it's clear. Original mortgage, satisfied. Where's the date here? It's a husband and wife, May 24th, 2005. So that's when it was satisfied. You go back and what I do when there's a lot of mortgages like these is I'll just click on each one of the mortgages verify there's a satisfaction with it go to the next one another satisfaction you know, look out for different types of, of recordings memorandums deeds I've seen properties with four or five different deeds recorded so this one doesn't have a satisfaction so this is still an active mortgage so let's take a look at it 10 Ferry Lane, short form mortgage. When they take this one out, or when was it recorded, I guess? 2010, September 9th, 2010. Verify the borrowers, the homeowners, and this is for $17,100. So they took out a small loan, probably for a uh, who knows what to pay off credit card debt is the way most people do it or to fix up the house whatever but that's uh it in a nutshell you can do some great property research all the way from this whole list if it's if it's a property if you're going for a share sale type situation you're doing homework on the property you see what kind of of mortgages may or may not be associated with it you want to compare the value just take a copy of the address and do something simple. Obviously, if you have access to the MLS, you can get great information, very detailed. And we all know Zillow is off one way or the other, <laughs> up to $30,000 sometimes. But you can get a good idea of, of what the value is just through Zillow. And this one's off market. It's going to share of sale. A lot of times you'll see this instead of off market, it'll say pre-foreclosure list it whether it's it'll tell you whether it's listed or not this is a good one to go for you know depending on going through all of those mortgages and the value there and it's obviously going to to foreclosure so there's an issue the homeowner has an issue and you as an investor or myself we can help them avoid that foreclosure and keep that off of their credit but this is how i go about uh, investigating my share of sale property leads it's great information. I hope you find it useful and I will talk to you later. Thanks.